hello everyone welcome back to my channel and to this week's plan with me video this week we are doing a memory spread or a back plan for the week of july 19th through july 25th and we are using this beautiful kit from scribble prints co it is a mystery kit i do not remember which one i know i've had it for a while and again as i've said in my last couple of videos when it came to winter spreads for this year, I was most definitely lacking. So this wasn't my favorite, favorite, favorite kit ever, but I needed to use it because I didn't have any other winter kits. I mean, it's not a terrible kit. Um, you know, I like the double box scene. I like the little deer that you will see me lay down. I like the fashion girl who's like chilling with what looks like a cup of probably hot cocoa. Um, but other than that, wasn't really a fan of the kit. But again, when you have no kits and you haven't been buying anything for goodness knows how long, I know that up to this point, I hadn't purchased kits for a long, long time. So I had to use what I had. So this made the cut. That sounds really bad, but it's not meant to sound bad because the way that it does come to, together at the end, again, I do quite like it. Um, the purple is probably my favorite element of color to the kit, but I feel like when you look at the end result, maybe the purple didn't really go too well with the kit. I don't know. Let me know your opinions at the end of the video. Um, so as I mentioned, the kit itself is from Scribble Prints Co. I do, of course, use the wiggle that came with this, which is just a standard silver wiggle bundle um i use the date dots from the wiggle and then i do go ahead and bring in a foiled quote box for the top left hand box that i choose in just a minute um i had a stash of as you guys know i like to generally if i can and if i have a quote box i generally like to put like a box in the top left hand corner underneath my page flag and month script and I will usually put a quote there, or if the kit has a quote of some kind, I'll put it there. But this particular kit didn't come with a quote. I've noticed that obviously SPC ones generally don't anymore. So you're usually having to make up your own sort of quote box, which obviously means that I have to start buying more quote boxes. But um, I did actually have a silver foiled quote box overlay that I like obviously got as a freebie or something somewhere along the way. Or picked up from a stash, I don't know um, but it said walking in a winter wonderland and I figured I'm probably never going to use that quote box at this point because Australia we don't really get snow particularly where I live and when we do get snow um, it's in Canberra um, and yeah so I most definitely don't see snow so when I used this kit when I decided to make this kit a selection and obviously the snow and whatnot I thought you know what it's a winter wonderland the whole kit is based around like snow and ski lodge and like snowing season snowing season snow season skiing that sort of thing so I figured now is the most appropriate time to use it so that's what I did and then as you guys know for anyone who has been here for a while where I do have a double box like I've just laid down there I will use that in my sidebar which keeps my sidebar very minimal which is the way I prefer it but it doesn't always happen that way um so for my sidebar this week I literally only put in my socials and then the box at the top and then the double box at the bottom but again like I said because I memory plan I mean I prefer my sidebar to look that way anyway so that is fine um with the spread as I go, you will see that I try and incorporate as many of the foiled icons and as many foil elements as I can just to tie it together. Again, you've heard me say it a thousand times. I've been very conscious of trying to use as much of the kit, as much of the wiggle as I possibly can. That way I'm not going to my stash in the first instance. I'm kind of going to that as a last resort. Um, so I use a bunch of icons. Um, I bring in as much silver as I possibly can just to sort of make it cohesive, I guess. And then obviously, as you can see right now, <laughs> I'm struggling with putting down some, I guess you'd call them bougie boxes, but they are actually from a tape that I got from 
uh, Girl Boss Anna some time ago. So I decided to use those just to add in that little bit of extra foil. And I feel like snowy kit, a little bit of snow in the background, never hurt anyone. Although when I'm looking at the spread now, you don't see that too much of it, but I don't know. It is what it is. It's done. That's what I did. So with that said, I am going to go ahead. I'm going to start talking about the spread. I did do something a little bit different. Not that it's like a huge, big, major thing, but I did, when I go and lay my month script in that top left-hand corner, I do put a little piece of deco from the kit out there, which I think is kind of cute. And I, if I have deco or like clip art pieces from the kit that work or are small enough to fit in that top left-hand corner, I'll generally try and use those where I can, but that's not always the case. I just got lucky in this instance and there was this cute little purple scarf. So I layered my month script over that and I don't know, I think it turned out cute. Okay, so as I said like 25 minutes ago, <laughs> I'm going to jump into the day-by-day -day plans because you guys know I like to get distracted, I go on tangents, I digress. Then we get to the end of the video and I'm struggling to catch up. So it's not a very long video already, so as it is, I already don't have much time left to talk about my day. So jumping into Monday... As always, the first thing that I mark is Coffee Monday, and I've marked that this week by putting in a script from Arctic Paper Studio, who is no longer open and makes me very sad, uh, and I've paired that with a coffee mug from Sticker Thief. For work this week, I decided to use the labels from the kit, just because I had a few things that I could mark in. Oh, and apparently my editing failed, because you just saw a sideways clip. Love that for me. I like edited this video on my phone really quickly because again, I've spoken about it before, but I have some issues sometimes where when I'm trying to import videos to iMovie from my phone, it like the files corrupt and it doesn't let me do it. So I then need to bring all the videos together in iMovie on my phone, save them as one big video, then put them into iMovie and then speed them up in iMovie. And usually when I do the iMovie on my phone, I have to rotate each individual clip to make sure that it's the right way around and obviously as you just saw there there was a piece that was not I promise when I catch up next year I have bigger plans I want to do like a branding overhaul there is so much I want to do I want to change like my end screen I want to try and put some music in my end screen um, I want to make my Instagram work a little bit better I want to do different types of planner content there's I have big plans <laughs> whether or not they will prevail I don't know, because again, at the beginning of last year, or in like my goals video that I think I did at the end of last year or the beginning of this year, I had said that I wanted to keep up to date and catch up on old planner spreads. But here we are. It is December 7th. I'm doing my voiceover for a spread in July. So who knows with me? Anyway, let's try and speed through. So I used the work labels from the kit this week to mark in work. So I've marked in work. And then I did some laundry, so I've just marked in doing laundry with a script from Stella Bow Sticker Co. and a foiled icon from The Wiggle. I then marked in that that day I listened to the Dark History podcast by Bailey Sarian. Haven't listened to her in a hot minute, so I have a lot of catching up to do. But I marked that in with a Fox and Cactus Girl. I also marked in that I had some pumpkin soup for dinner, and again, I've just marked that in with an icon from The Wiggle. And last but not least, I marked in a Dead by Daylight stream, and I've just used a little laptop sticker there from Arctic Paper Studio to mark that. On to Tuesday, I've marked work at the top of my day there. I then marked with a Marshmallow Studio Sheila Sugar character sticker and a planner face script. Then I was in my feelings that day. I was feeling a bit low. I was having issues with some friends, and it just... Now I'm about to cough. Excellent. Let's try not to do that. Um, but yeah, I was just feeling a little bit low. Just sip some coffee to kind of keep my throat at bay. Um, I then marked in that I had a minestrone soup for lunch and I've just used a foiled icon from Stella Bow to mark that. And below that, I've used an icon from The Wiggle to mark that I had a PDP meeting, which basically means I had a meeting with my team leader at work to discuss like my career options, what I want to do with my future there. Very boring. Nothing ever happens. Never implement anything. So essentially, I just always feel like every year when that comes around, it's a waste of my time. Anyway, moving on. Um, I've then used a little heart icon from the Wiggle to mark that I listened to some ASMR after work. 
just to sort of chill myself down. And then I've used a stick a thief icon to mark that I had a plan with me binge. And last but not least, I streamed D uh, DBD or Dead by Daylight that night. And I've just marked that the same way as Monday. Over to Wednesday, I've marked work. I then used a once more with love emoji flipping the bird to mark that. I was still having some issues with some friends. So I literally wrote friends who needs them. And then below that, I've used a crying fox and cactus girl to mark that I was in my feelings. I then used a piece of deco from the kit and another script from Stella Bow to mark that again, I did some laundry on that day. And after that, I've used another piece of deco to mark that I had a cup of coffee and I sat down and fiddled with some things for my stream. And I've just marked that in with an SPC icon from the Wiggle. And again, apparently this was a DBD heavy week. I streamed Dead by Daylight on Wednesday again. Jumping into Thursday, apologies for that alert. Apparently I can never get things right, even though I've been planning on YouTube for God knows how long now. Um, so Thursday I've marked work. Below that I've then used a Sheila Sugar in an ice cube from Marshmallow Studio to mark that I wore my Udi that day because it was freezing cold. I then also chose to mark that I had a team meeting that day, which is obviously virtual because COVID, lockdown, all of that fun stuff. And I've marked that in with a fox and cactus skull. On Thursday evening, I played Dead by Daylight again. I didn't stream, I just played and I marked that in with a an icon from the Wiggle. I apparently did a bit of online shopping that evening. So again, I've used an icon from the Wiggle and I've just marked in that I bought some lollies and some hand cream. I also watched some plan with me videos that night. So I've used an icon from the kit and last but not least and very unexcitedly, I marked in that Aunt Flo came to visit and I've just used a whimsical cat studio character to mark that. Over to Friday, I've of course marked work at the top of the day there. I then marked in that I was crampy and not feeling great and I've marked that in with a little crampy, one, not once more with love, Coffee Monsters Kowamodi. After work, I fiddled with voiceovers and tried to get some of that stuff done. And again, I've just used another emoji to mark that. And then I did some editing of said videos. Uh, and I've marked that in with a script from Plannerface and an icon from The Wiggle. Once that was said and done, I did watch some revenge. So I've just used an icon from the kit to mark that. And then that night for dinner, we actually had Chinese. So I've used an icon from the kit to mark that we had Chinese for dinner. And then that evening we watched a movie. Didn't record what we watched, used a popcorn sticker from Stella Bow Sticker Co to mark that. And then we are on to Saturday. So Saturday I slept in and I've marked that with a Stella Bow face mask and script. When I woke, I had a cup of coffee and I've just used a, an SPC icon to mark that. I then did some tidying up and I've marked that in with an icon from Stella Bow Sticker Co. And then I did some business listings and things and I've marked that in with a Fox and Cactus character girl. Again, I did some laundry on this day, so I've used some deco from the kit and the laundry script from Stella Bow Sticker Co to mark that. And then I had some downtime on the couch, so I've just used another piece of deco to mark that. And last but not least, on Saturday evening, we watched a movie called Blood Red Sky, and I used an icon from the Wiggle to mark that. And finally, on to Sunday, the first thing that I marked in was sleeping in, and I've used a deco piece from the kit and the same Stella Bow Sticker Co script. I had a cup of coffee for breakfast and I've used an icon from Stella Bow to mark that. And then I did some filming, which I marked in with a, an icon from the kit. I also then did some voiceovers. So again, I've used an icon from the kit for that. And then that evening we watched Beauty and the Geek. I did an Instagram post. We also watched some Dr. Death and I did an upload. So the foiled icons are from the Wiggle. The regular icon is from the kit. And then the flat lay is from Stella Bow. And then I just did like an upload foil sticker from Kinsey's Creations, I think, on that. And that finished out the week. And obviously, as you can see, I didn't quite catch up, but I tried. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Thanks, everyone. Bye for now.